Hello everyone. Good morning. I hope all is well. So before I get to this article, please like, share, and if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, please, por favor. Anyway, you guys, so this article is from the New York Times and it is this uh, reporter. Her name is Megan Tui. She, according to the article, she spent the past seven months reporting on the business relationship between Kanye West and Adidas. So this is what she has to say about Kanye and at the end of her investigation, looking past misconduct. When Adidas ended its wildly lucrative shoe deal with Kanye West, who now goes by Ye, a year ago, the breakup appeared to be the culmination of weeks of his inflammatory remarks about J-E-W-S and Black Lives Matter. But our examination found that behind the scenes, the partnership was fraught from the start. Interviews with current and former employees of Adidas and of West, along with hundreds of previously undisclosed internal records, including contracts, text messages, and financial documents, provide the fullest accounting yet of the relationship. Here are seven takeaways. For almost 10 years, Adidas looked past West's misconduct as profits soared. The partnership, which began in 2013, boosted company profits and made West a billionaire. But West subjected, according to them, you guys, employees to anti-S-E-M-E, I mean S-E-M-I-T-I-C. I have to spell out the words because YouTube is not playing with people, okay, on certain subjects and other A-B-U-S-I-V-E comments. And though their contract for years had a clause allowing Adidas to end the agreement if West's behavior harmed the company's reputation, it's not clear that executives ever considered invoking it before terminating the deal last year. West showed a troubling fixation on J-E-W-S and Hitler. At a 2013 meeting with Adidas designers at the company's headquarters in Germany, he drew a swastika, I had to say it like that, on one of their sketches. He, la he later told a JEW-ish Adidas manager to kiss a portrait of Hitler every day. And West told Adidas colleagues that he admired Hitler's command of propaganda. Okay, you guys, this is just some people's word against him. So this is not fact. It's a reporting of uh, gossip to me. He brought P-O-R-N and crude comments into the workplace. Wow. Weeks before the Swastika episode, he made Adidas executives watch P-O-R-N during a meeting and at his Manhattan apartment. Last year, he ambushed Adidas executives in Los Angeles with a P-O-R-N film. Staff members also complained to top executives that he had made angry S-E-X-U-A-L-L-Y offensive comments to them to them. So <clears throat> this is what she's reporting. I have not gotten through everything yet, you guys, but I want to comment on this. So if he was out there making those comments to executives and putting on P-O-R-N for them to watch before meetings or during meetings or whatever, you know, I I can't believe this, that executives would sit through something like that. And they were in agreement with him for 10 years. I just, this is unbelievable. So everybody knows because Kanye admitted to having an addiction to P-O-R-N. And he said that addiction was ruining his family. So... In my opinion, it's my opinion, you guys. I think that this addiction was used against him when they were ready to just throw his ass to the curb for the comments that he made. And what a perfect way to, you know, 
to try to put his reputation down the drain. He's bipolar. He's an addict to PORN. He's forcing us to watch. Nobody's going to force you to sit there and watch a PORN film, especially if you're an executive. Walk out of the room. I just don't buy this, you guys. And no, I'm not a huge fan of Kanye. He's just a very interesting person to me. And um, so that is my interest in him. I don't know any of his music except from a long time ago. Um, you know, when he first came out, his music was awesome. But I'm not a rap fan. But for some reason, his music was amazing to me. But I, I don't know any of his latest, greatest hits at all. But that is my only interest in this man. His being guilty or innocent doesn't make my life go. So I'm just saying this in advance because some people are going to call me a super fan saying that I'm taking up. That is not the case. I just don't buy this bull that executives were made to sit through films that they didn't want to see. I don't buy that. So next Big demands and mood swings weighed on the relationship. West, who has been diagnosed with bipolar, at times rejected the assessment and resisted treatment. Tears were common. So was Fury. In 2019, he abruptly moved the operation designing his shoes called Yeezys to remote Cody, Wyoming, and ordered the Adidas team to relocate. In a meeting with company leaders that year to discuss his demands, he hurled shoes around the room. So according to Kanye, he moved to Cody, Wyoming because his now ex-wife and her mother, this is according to him, they were trying to Britney Spears him. They were trying to put him under, um, what do you call it? A conservatorship. And he's not a damn dummy. He got the hell out of there. And He's admitted that he, he has been diagnosed with bipolar disorder. So this is not new, but for her to say that he, he moved it for some nefarious reason. No, he moved and he rejected them and what they were trying to do to him. Nobody, I don't give a damn how crazy, like they call it, you are. Nobody has the right to tell you as a human being what you can and cannot do with your body and your money. Right. That's how I feel like Britney was wronged all those years. And when Kanye saw all the ducks lining up in a row, he got the hell out of there. And he said this himself in interviews. Adidas adapted to West's behavior. Managers and top executives started a group text chain called the Yeezy Hotline, but they spelled it YZY -Y, Hotline, to address matters involving West. The Adidas team working on Yeezys adopted a strategy they linked, they likened to fight, firefighting, I'm sorry, I'm tripping over my words, rotating members on and off the front lines of dealing with the artist. As the brand grew more reliant on Yeezys, it sweetened the deal for West. Under the 2016 contract, he received a 15% royalty on net sales with 15 million upfront, along with millions of dollars in company stock each year. In 2019, Adidas agreed to another enticement, $100 million annually, officially for Yeezy marketing, but in practice, a fund that West could spend with little oversight. The sales continue. After the relationship between West and Adidas ruptured a year ago and Yeezy sales stopped, the company projected its first annual loss in decades. West's net, net worth plummeted. Still, they had at least one more chance to keep making money together. In May, the company began releasing the remaining $1.3 billion worth of Yeezys. A cut of the proceeds would go to charity, but most of the revenue would go to Adidas and West was entitled to royalties. And so this is like just, I don't, I just can't believe like some of the things that 
uh, are being said in this so-called investigation is mind-boggling. So to go on with the article, at the same time, he scaled his goals, opening an unaccredited Christian school, taking on a disastrous 2020 presidential campaign that reflected his rightward political drift and promising to create flying cars, build futuristic communities and otherwise solve the world's problems. In a statement to the Times, Adidas said it has no tolerance for H-A-T-E speech and offensive behavior, which is why the company terminated the Adidas Easy partnership. The brand turned down interview requests and citing confidentiality rules declined to comment on financial aspects of the collaboration and Adidas relationship with Mr. West. Mr. West declined interview requests and did not respond to respond to written questions or provide comments. And that's his right. That's the right of Adidas too, not to discuss their financials with anyone. After the relationship ruptured and Yeezy sales came to a halt, both Adidas and the musician were hit hard. The company projected its first annual loss in decades. Mr. West's net worth plummeted, but they had at least one more chance to keep making money together. The company announced in May that it would begin releasing the remaining $1.3 billion worth of Yeezys from warehouses and the world, around the world. As the shoes have reappeared, so has Mr. West. He performed on stage for the first time in over a year. Music from what is rumored to be his comeback album has leaked online. And he trademarked, trademarked a new Yeezy creation, a sock shoe, suggesting he intends to keep making footwear with or without Adidas. So you guys, what do you think? Uh, there's a little more to this, but they go on into talking about Jay Z and Beyonce. Who who wants to talk about them? Not me. What do you guys think about this? Do you think that this was a hit piece on him, on Kanye West? Do you think that this is justified the way that she reported? I mean, it was such a negative towards him. And uh, that is just my opinion. What do you guys think? Do you think that she went after him? when she could be really reporting about, you know, what's going on in Israel and Palestine. She could be reporting on those two, you know, what's going on there, which is very important to the entire world. Instead of giving us this, uh, in my opinion, hateful article towards Kanye West, who's just trying to live his life now, right? With his new wife. So, like I said, let me know what you think about this in the comments. Do you believe, I don't believe this. This is completely mind boggling for me. Do you believe that Kanye forced executives to watch PORN? That is, I mean, how can you force someone to sit there and watch something? Were they so hard up to make money off of this man that they would allow this devilish addiction that he had. Yes, I called it a devilish addiction that he had, that he admitted to having. Did they allow themselves to be exposed to this crap for money's sake? Or do you think that this is all a hit piece? Let me know in the comments. Let's talk about it.